Hi, this is Great and Cherish. I'm doing this video in collaboration with Stacy from Truly Majestic, and today I'm gonna be painting my ladybugs. So these ladybugs uh, I'm doing for the first time. They will be a little bit different than the ones that you can usually see on my Facebook, Instagram, or Etsy. So I'm gonna try to make mandala ladybugs. As you can see, I am first painting the little rocks with pencil. It's much easier to follow the lines and to do it right when you have a background with pencil. And I'm gonna be doing lots of them at the same time. As I already mentioned, it's much easier to paint several rocks at the same time because you don't waste your paint and uh, you can do another thing while you wait that the first one is getting dry and it's much 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 easier to paint several things at once the white dots I'm always so using the white color because it seems like the best choice but I don't know maybe it isn't maybe you can try with different ones I'm using the tiniest dot tool on this so I get this nice and clean shape Uh, if you noticed, I am doing uh, two types of ladybugs. One of them have also the tail drawn on the rock and these are the ladybugs I usually do. And uh, the other ones, the one that I'm currently dotting, uh, they don't have anything on the back on the back and this will be my mandala ladybugs. So the difference between between them is that on the with the mandala ladybugs it's important to choose uh, a nice round shaped uh, rock because it's much easier to paint a round mandala on it and for the other ones the rocks can be I would say any shape Now let's make one traditional, I call them traditional, <laughs> it's nothing near traditional but uh, I like to do these old ladybugs also. I won't be showing in this video how I paint all of them because it's really a lot of them and the video lasts for long already <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you how to paint five different mandala ladybugs at the same time so this is it these are all my ladybugs with uh, white lines and now I'm gonna add the big dots and the eyes so this time I think I'm gonna be doing a bit different eyes as well uh, when you're doing eyes uh, you just press the dotting tool on the on the rock and then like wiggle with it until you get a nice round shape uh, it's very important to make the eyebrows right away because if you wait too long the color will be dry and they won't be shaped well you're gonna get a big mess if you wait a bit longer so this is the reason why I'm now doing just the eyes and then later I'm gonna do the rest of the the rest of the rock 
So when playing with eyebrows, eyebrows, you can you can do whatever you like. You can put two, three, or more lines. So it's completely up to you. I'm putting a big white dot in the middle of the rock. So yeah, this will be the center of my mandala and I'm doing it on each rock except of course for the ones where I will be doing my old ladybugs they will just have this couple of white dots on top of them and a lot of colorful dots in between As you might have noticed, this is rather a long lasting process and uh, sometimes I feel I don't like to paint with ladybugs because I need like uh, a whole day to make a bunch of them and uh, but the people like them very much and I think I made at least a couple of I, I would say at least 2000 ladybugs so far in my last year and a half so you can see which colors I'm using uh, I'm using again Cadence it's a turkey uh, vendor for acrylic colors so which I like, like very much and which are available to me here in Croatia uh, the reason why I like them because they're not too thick and I need just a little bit of water to water them down and to have the nice consistency of paint and I don't think they sell online so this is the reason why I didn't put any link in the description but maybe you can also find them in your local hobby stores I'm gonna start with the blue color I'm gonna start with light blue in the middle and then uh, up to a darker blue to the end of my mandala and uh, as you can see I'm gonna be also doing green uh, ladybugs and orange ladybugs and uh, maybe something purple I don't know still need to decide it it's really important that you mix the colors right and when you think you're ready uh, you can start with your painting I prepared a three colors at once because it's easier for me just to continue from one ladybug to another and not mix the paint in the in, the, in between it takes me a lot of time so let's start with the blue one uh, if you want a nice mandala uh, you should start with really tiny tiny dots in the middle and uh, you can do it the same way I'm doing it just put uh, the four initial dots so you're sure they are geometrically correct and then put the little dots in between this is I, I would say the most safe way to do it right after you do the first row <clears throat> it's much easier to continue filling the gaps between the dots and to add another another one so when doing gradient mandala um, with colors uh, you can always uh, make two or three rows of the same color and then start with another gradient or another shade so it looks sometimes even nicer when there are a couple of rows of the same color when you're not changing the color in the same row I mean the shade not really the color
the last one will be a lovely violet ladybug I'm starting with very very light violet color and I'm gonna continue to a much darker violet color Once I'm finished with the first two rows, I'm mixing a bit darker colors on my palette. I'm just adding uh, a little bit of the initial color that was mixed with white uh, to make it a bit darker. And I'm gonna continue with these dots. As you can see with each row the dots are slightly bigger. Uh, but you kind of have to be careful so you always leave some space between the dots because at the end I'm gonna put little white dots in between so it's okay to make the dots bigger but uh, don't make them too big because in this case you won't be you won't have any place to put the little white dots Now I'm done with all the little dots and uh, I'm gonna be doing one in the middle. I will try to do it uh, on each rock, although I think the white color is still not dry enough. So if you're not sure what you're doing, please wait a little bit more until it's dry enough. Thank you. 
when doing the big dots you can either choose to make them from darker to lighter or vice versa it's much easier if you do it uh, with the colors you have prepared so i guess with me gonna go from lighter to darker because this is the same uh, how my dot developing You can see that this is going uh, pretty slow, uh, you have to be careful if you don't want to get an ugly mandala, so if you want to get uh, the same shapes, uh, the same sizes of dots and nice geometry. So to be honest, uh, I, uh, I removed uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of things from this video. It's not showing the whole process because it would last too too long so you're just seeing the most important parts after I'm finished with the last couple of rows I'm gonna need to add the eyes and uh, of course in the end to varnish the rocks with some I'm using gloss varnish but uh, you can use whatever you like
Now let's do the eyes. Uh, I will be using the same blue color I already had uh, for my blue uh, ladybug mandala. And I'm gonna put it on uh, all the ladybugs. Of course, it can be much more colorful if you want to use different colors and different ladybugs. Uh, how I do it uh, mostly is to put a little bit darker color at the bottom and a little bit lighter color uh, on top of it. Of course, once it's dry enough, because if you, I like to put a lot of color on the eyes because in that case they pop up and uh, they look like three dimensional. But the most important thing to do that is to let them dry. Now comes the tricky part. Uh, I'm using white dots for uh, filling the gaps in between the lines. When you have so many little dots, it's kind of hard to concentrate and to be focused uh, on where the white dots should go. And I have a rule. I put the color uh, on top of the dotting tool and I start from the outer side where the dots should be bigger and then I continue with the same amount of color. I'm not like refilling it in the process towards the inner side because in that case the dots get smaller and smaller and it's not hard to fill the tiniest gap.
once I'm done with the inner side I'm gonna finish the eyes the bottom paint is dry enough for me to put another layer of big amount of color so I get this 3d look and after I'm done with it and after it gets dry a little bit I'm gonna put uh, white black dots also and I guess this will be it my ladybugs are almost finished again at the end I'm gonna put uh, glossy varnish on them I like to put gloss, or ac gloss acrylic varnish but you can always use matte or whatever you prefer so the varnish uh, enables uh, the ladybugs to be placed outside in your garden pot or similar I thank you all for watching my new video. I will be posting another I will be posting another one in a couple of days and this one will be about painting uh, constellation rocks. Uh, I did them a couple of days ago but I still didn't finish the video and uh, if you want to check out how they look like you can always do it in my Etsy shop. Hear you soon and thank you for watching and subscribing.